So before I start the video guys, I need to make sure that everybody understands. Mushrooms can be fatal if you eat the wrong one. It can be very fatal very quickly. So be 100% positive of the mushroom that you are dealing with before you handle it, before you mess with it, before you eat it especially. So wood ear, what is it? Well, wood ear is a form of jelly fungi, and it's a um, type of fungi that likes to grow on dead, decaying, rotting wood. It's really easy to find after uh, good rain, where it's nice and humid, and it's got lots of water to soak up and grow. Where does it grow? It grows across most of continental North America. So Canada, down to Mexico, parts of Alaska, um, Asia, uh, anywhere that's kind of temperate, it typically grows the most in early to late spring and early to late fall, but it can grow in the winter uh, if temperatures are right. Uh, summer is usually a little too warm for it, but I have seen it growing in the summer here in Virginia, central Virginia. So this is actually a beginner mushroom. It's, it's pretty easy to identify. Uh, the most the identifying characteristic about it is it literally looks like an ear growing on the side of the log. <clears throat> Hence the name woods ear or tree ear. <clears throat> Another great thing about it is it does have a couple somewhat lookalikes. If you saw them side by side, you'd see the difference. However, the lookalikes are non-poisonous. They are edible as well. However, they don't have the same flavor or the same nutritional value that this does. As a matter of fact, they're flavorless. <laughs> so, this mushroom should not be eaten raw, just like any wild mushroom. Eating raw, raw mushrooms can make you sick because there can be parasitic or bacterial or um, other fungal properties that are on or around the mushroom, uh, not to mention bugs. And even though bugs are a good source of protein, um, you can still catch something from bugs or even eat a bug that's got a poisonous bite to it or a venomous bite to it. So, primary identifying characteristics. It looks like an ear. It is a really nice, earthy looking brown. It does not look brainy. So certain jelly fungi almost look like brains or gelatinous blobs. This does not. Another interesting characteristic about it is even though it is a jelly fungi, if you take it and you squeeze it between your fingers fairly hard, it doesn't give. It's actually really firm for a jelly fungi. And a lot of other jelly fungi do not have that characteristic. So if you look at it, on the inside of the cup, the cup is usually down. That's where the spores are. It's actually fairly smooth. And uh, almost wet, but it doesn't wet your fingers. So waxy. Now the top of it is a little bit more coarser. It's almost, almost like a super fine sandpaper. Not like sandpaper, but it's, you can feel texture there. Now these will often grow in bottoms and in uh, other low-lying areas where there's more, more humidity and natural moisture. Now this mushroom is actually extremely good for you. It's high in protein and iron, uh, a couple of vitamins and some other stuff that mushrooms are typically known for. Medicinally, it's also anti-cancerous, anti-tumorous, um, helps to lower uh, cholesterol levels. Uh, got all kinds of really good stuff about this mushroom and traditionally and the most common way that this mushroom is consumed is it is made into a stew or a soup along with other things and most likely some of you might be familiar with it and don't even realize it it's a very common mushroom or a close cousin to this is also a very common mushroom in Chinese dishes or um, Asian dishes shall I say So it's just overall a really good mushroom, fairly easy to identify, good beginner one, and as healthy as it is, and also the fact that it contains protein is something that we should all be aware of. So with that said, put this down now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you haven't already, hit that bell dingling icon down below. You'll get notified every single time I upload a new video, and I will see you guys next week.